Honourable members, the next business is the election of a speaker. Madam Clerk, I move that the Honourable Member for Fisher do take the chair of this House as Speaker. Is the motion seconded? Well, it's a great honour to second the nomination of the Member for Fisher. For... The result of the ballot is Mr R. G. Mitchell, 59 votes, and Mr Wallace, 70 votes. Yeah. Mr Wallace is declared elected as Speaker. Yeah. I wish to express my grateful thanks for the high honour the House has been pleased to confer upon me. Questions without notice. Are there any questions? Those mandates in very specific circumstances. Members on my left. If people are receiving Order. a benefit from the government, members Mr. on Speaker, my left, Mr. Speaker, that was the leader of the opposition's policy. The leader of the opposition on a point of order. Yes, Mr. Speaker, on relevance. That's why it was called no jab, point of no order. pay, because you were paying people. Leader of the house has the court. Mr. Leader Speaker, the court. Uh, there are many occasions where the leader of the opposition comes to the dispatch box under the guise of making a point of order. It doesn't, it doesn't happen. He makes a political statement from the dispatch the box and he should be ruled House, out of order. The Leader of the House will resume his seat. The Leader of the Opposition will resume his seat. The Prime Minister is in order and he is being relevant. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On paying people for vaccines they'd already had. That was his policy. Economic recklessness, Mr. Speaker. The, the manager of opposition business would know that there is one point of order on relevance. Yes, what's the point of order that the... On the order of the House, Mr Speaker. The manager of opposition will resume his seat. The, the manager of opposition business, uh, there is one opportunity to raise a point of order on relevance. Yes. What's the point of order, Manager? Point of order is with respect to the ruling that you made, where you ruled that the Prime Minister was in order. How can it be when a question has nothing to do with Labor policy that you're now going to allow an answer like this? How does that the happen? The Manager of Opposition Business will resume his seat. The Prime Minister has the call and the Prime Minister is relevant. But the policies we've pursued through the pandemic was not to pay people cash bribes as the Labor leader wished to do, Mr. Speaker. But we, Mr. Speaker, we, the Mr. Speaker, he's very precious today, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister will resume his seat. Has, has the Prime Minister finished his answer? The Leader of the Opposition. Yes, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister just made a very specific allegation which was unparliamentary. Unparliamentary the, against a member of parliament. If he wants to accuse people the leader of, the opposition. of that, he needs to withdraw, Mr. Speaker. He cannot be allowed to stand. If that's allowed to stand, then it'll be a free for all, Mr. Speaker. The leader of the opposition will resume his seat. It shouldn't come as any great surprise that the level of interjections was so great that I actually didn't hear what the Prime Minister said. Did the Prime Minister make an unparliamentary comment? Well, I, I'm not in a position. I, I'm simply. I am sim the Leader of the Opposition will just resume his seat for a moment. Uh, if the level of interjections is so high that I simply could not hear what the Prime Minister is saying, well, then um, it shouldn't come as any great surprise that I can't rule on that. The Prime Minister has indicated. The leader, the manager of opposition business, will just resume his seat for a moment. Um, the prime minister has the court. No, no, no. no the prime. No. Are, are you making another point of order? We could have written that. What's the point of order? In what you dealt with just then, you asked the prime minister whether or not he believed he'd said un something unparliamentary. What I'm putting to you is so that you know what was said. It was an accusation using a term that is a criminal offence. Now, if you're going to allow that to stand, that is a very significant shift. A the, very significant shift. The leader, the manager of opposition. The business. use of the word bribe has not been allowed in this house. If you're now going to shift that ruling, then if you're going to make that as a formal ruling, 
then do it up front, but not. The, the, the manager of opposition business, as I indicated just a moment ago, I didn't hear what. Yeah, that's the, why I'm the letting you know what said. was said. So, um, if the Prime Minister used an allegation Just of bribery, withdraw. then the Prime Minister should withdraw it. No, make no such accusation against any individual member. I said, I make none now. I make none now, Mr. Speaker. Order. I was talking about his Order. policy, the Mr. Prime Speaker. Minister will resume and what it does. Order. 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 The level of interjections is too high. If I can't hear what's being said. I thank the Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. And is the Deputy Prime Minister aware of any alternative approaches? Point of order? Yes, the manager of opposition business. Um, one which I, I expect you, you'd be anticipating, Mr. Speaker. Uh, but each speaker, different speakers have ruled as to whether alternative policies are to be allowed in questions. Standing orders make clear that ministers are to be asked about their ministerial responsibility. There is no way that they can be responsible for the policies of another political party. They are responsible for the policies of a government. And I ask that the last part of the question be ruled out of order, as a number of previous speakers have done. Uh, in accordance with the precedent, uh, with at the very least the previous speaker, the uh, ministers can be asked on alternative policies, and the question is in order. A regional person, a regional person. I'm sorry. I'm, what would you have said about Chifley? That his train wasn't big enough? I mean, what, 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 what is it? What is what has happened to the Labor Party? You've got to come from Grainler and how am I going? All right. <laughs> We've got 40 I seconds. like this bike more than the last fella. <laughs> so, it's, so it's but this is it. What you're going to have? What you're going to have is you. Here he is. The uh, leader of the opposition it's, it's bit... on a point of order. Yeah. On a point of order. Yes. Leader of the opposition. Given he gave himself up, Mr. Speaker, that he wasn't being relevant. He's not being relevant to the question. This is about the qualifications for a serious job, the Chair of Infrastructure Australia. The Leader of the Opposition. From a government that promised the to reappoint Sir Rod Eddington to that job. Right. The Leader of the Opposition will resume his seat. The Deputy Prime Minister is, uh, is being relevant. The, leader, the Deputy Prime Minister. Completely relevant. Honest job. Had an honest job. You've already had one the point Deputy of order. The Deputy Prime Minister you can't have will you resume that. his seat. The Leader of the Opposition. On a point of order? Yes, Mr. Speaker. It, the, it goes the point of to, order? Yes, Mr. Speaker. A point of order. Point of order. It goes to the minister defying your ruling. He continues to just rave on about the, the Labor the, Party. The, the, question, the, the question was about the qualifications the leader of the person of the that he has appointed his, his mate. The Deputy Prime Minister. Has the call? The Deputy Prime Minister so, is Mr. being Speaker, I just My family, Mr. Speaker, order the, bring order, it on, Mr. Speaker. Order. Bring it on. The if Prime Minister will about. resume his seat. If I can't hear the Prime Minister, I can't rule on points of order. The Manager of Opposition Business. On, on direct relevance, Mr. Speaker, there is no way that this is relevant to any of the 17 times that he used the term that he's being asked about. I would ask the Prime Minister to be relevant to the question. The Prime Minister has the call. Well, thank you, but on the topic, Mr. Speaker, the former Senator Dastyari. Where he stands, Mr. Speaker. The order, one thing we know order, for sure. Withdraw. Order. The, uh, the Minister will withdraw that. I, 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 I withdraw, Mr. Speaker, but we never know which way they're going to go. Our members of a union, that's down from 40% in 1992. The Minister will but resume his really seat. The Minister will resume his seat. The manager of opposition business on a point of order. On point of order on direct relevance. This uh, question. Uh, has was the minister the... finished his answer? Thank you. And uh, we're asked, what are we going to do about uh, employment in regional Australia? What we're going to do is we're going to boost economic growth for people the, to be employed. That's what we're going to do. The minister will just resume. Just. The Leader of the Opposition on a point of order. Yes, Mr Speaker. This was a specific question with a real-world example. What he did. Leader of the Opposition, it's not helpful for those on my right to be yelling in my ear 
the, the, minister, the minister will just resume his seat for a moment. The, as the Leader of the Opposition knows, if you want to take a point of order, the, the Leader of the Opposition needs to state the point of order. What order is this? Is it in order for the minister, when he came to the dispatch— Well, when I do, sit down. It's a the point of order. Sit leader down. Of the opposition, sit down. The Leader of the Opposition will resume his seat. The, the, le the Leader of the Opposition will resume his seat. The Leader of the Opposition will resume his seat. It, it, it would be it would assist me the the Matt, the the leader of the house is raising a point of order the the leader of the house I'm not the leader the leader of the opposition will resume his seat the leader of the opposition will resume his seat the Leader of the House. Uh, it, it's clear that the Leader of the Opposition makes a point of order on relevance, even though he doesn't want to say that. Uh, well, what, he refuses to state in that case what standing order he is referring to, in which case he's out of order. And, Mr Speaker, he should be ruled out of order because the, the Minister has made a statement which order. is completely in order. The Leader of the Opposition. It would assist the Chair. Yeah, it would it would assist the chair when the leader of the opposition wants to raise a point of order that you uh, state the point of order. My point of order goes to the standing order provisions for questions without notice, for which standing order 99. In which case, I asked a question: What occurred was that the minister the minister stood up and then asked himself a question and then proceeded to answer the question that he asked himself. That is not in order. The minister is in order. The minister has the call. Order. What we care about, Mr Speaker, on this side the of the House, you've already had uh, a point of order. Seat. What we care about... The minister will resume his seat. The the manager of opposition business on a point of order. The minister has finished and completed his answer. A sneaky petrol tax where they want to jack up the price of petrol. The prime minister will resume his seat. The leader, the leader of the opposition on a point of order. Yes, Mr. Speaker, it goes to relevance. The question asked about petrol prices going up by $900 in the last year. It didn't invite the or prime minister to make up policies from those on this side of the House. Right. The Leader of the Opposition will resume his seat. The Prime Minister has the call. I'd ask the Prime Minister to remain relevant to the question. That will put a sneaky petrol tax on Australians, Mr Speaker. Our policies will not do that. The Prime Minister will resume his seat. The Leader of the Opposition on a point of order. Yes, Mr Speaker. He's now defining your, de defying your no, ruling. No, the Leader of the Opposition will resume his seat. The Leader of the Opposition will resume his seat. Speaker, the prime, the I can minister, understand why he's sensitive. The, the, the prime carbon minister, tax, not what no, no. happened under the Labor leader, government, would no, it? The manager of opposition, just resume your seat for a moment. The prime minister will return to the question at hand. Speaker, that's what we the took to the election. Prime, the prime minister will resume his seat. The member from Macquarie on a point of order. Point of order, Speaker. Relevance. My question was about rentals, not purchasing. Yes, but the question was also about making it harder for working families to make ends meet. Uh, the Prime Minister has the call. They want to get rid of gas stoves, gas heaters, Mr Speaker. They want to get rid of gas uh, water heaters in particular. Mr the Speaker. The Minister will resume his seat. The Leader, the Manager of Opposition Business. Uh, Mr Speaker, you, 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 so, The Manager of Opposition Business has the call. Uh, thanks, Mr Speaker. Uh, he's not going to alternative policies at all. He's going to wild fantasies that he's making up. Like it has to be anchored in something. The manager of opposition will resume his seat. Uh, the minister has the call. In a Labor Green government, Mr. Speaker, they're talking it up. They're talking it up, and so you know, the Labor the Party have been pretty Prime sneaky in not telling us what their policies are. The manager of opposition business. Mr. Speaker, the, the Prime Minister is not even pretending on, on to be directly order. relevant. 
There's no attempt being made. He's completely defying the standing orders, and he's smirking about it. The manager of opposition business will resume his seat. The prime minister has the call. Or Speaker, order. order. Uh, the, treasurer, the, tre the treasurer will just pause for one moment. I don't particularly want to. Uh, exercise 94A on my first day in the chair. Um, please, I would call upon I would call upon members of the House to keep the level of interjections. And that's the Labor Party. The Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask that further questions be placed on the notice paper, and I congratulate you on completing your first question time. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
point of order on the point of order? I, I was just asking what your ruling was on the last point of order. The, the, the treasurer ruling wasn't is made. The, if, the please, treasurer, can I make the point of order? I'm sorry? I was, just, I was just asking if I can complete the point of order. The Treasurer, you, the Leader of the Opposition raised a point of order on relevance. Yes. The Treasurer is being relevant. Um, the treasurer By talking has about call. policies that don't exist. The Treasurer has the call. So, Mr Speaker, the fact today that... Oh, no. On the point of order? Speaker, the point of order is relevance. The question was, has there been a bigger disaster of a Treasurer than him? And the answer is no. Well, the... Uh, the member for Rankin may not like the answer, but it was asked in such a way that you asked for whether there was a worse record on waste. So uh, the treasurer, the treasurer is, the treasurer has the call. Mr. Speaker, the cause, the leader of the opposition, when he was asked about oh, 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 oh. the manager of opposition business on a point of order. I, I'm just sorry on Pardon? direct relevance. He's not talking about policies. He's just giving random comments and his own character assessment up and down the aisle. This doesn't go to policy. Even on the broadest definition of what was asked, I don't see how it's relevant. The Treasurer will return to the dispatch box and remain relevant to the question, please. Well, Mr Speaker. Member for we Hindmarsh. don't always know what their policies are, Mr Speaker. The Leader of the Opposition. On a point of order. Point of order, Mr Speaker, on relevance. This went to the Prime Minister saying that he doesn't, didn't ridicule the technology on electric vehicles. We want things to be made here. It's your Order. mob that sent Order. the car industry the offshore. Leader of the Opposition, in raising a point of order is not an opportunity to, to raise another argument. The Prime Minister has the call and I'd ask the Prime Minister to remain relevant well, to the Thank question. you, Mr Speaker. And the economy, the guy's never put a budget together. He spent six weeks sitting in the, the National Prime Security Minister. Minister. The Prime Sorry, Minister. I apologise, Mr Speaker. I'll return to the topic. <laughs> I'll return to the topic. It's the Labor Party who loves to tell you what to do. They love to make your choices for you. Pro oh. Has the Prime Minister finished his question? Well, um, the Prime Minister wasn't asked for the leader of manager of opposition business can return to his seat. The Prime Minister wasn't asked in relation to alternative policies. Um, the Prime Minister has the call. I, I was not asked about alternative policies, Mr Speaker, because I couldn't actually speak of the alternative policies. Um, I wasn't asked or about alternative policies, Mr Speaker. All I can go in terms of alternative policies from the opposition is what they did at the last election, Mr Speaker, because that's the only thing we know. And there's only one thing worse than Labor telling you what they're going to do is when they're so order, sneaky not order, to tell you. Order. The member for Morton is warned, by the way. I think I said would actually charge that would actually uh, charge Prime the Prime televisions. Minister, uh, the uh, Prime in Minister Adelaide. was just we, the microphone's not on, Prime Minister. Sorry. If it is, I I can't hear it. I'll get you to start again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. They want to turn the gas off on Australian industry, Mr Speaker. The manager of opposition business on a point of order. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, on, on direct relevance, I, there's nothing asked about alternative policies. I don't see why we have to rise each time. The Prime Minister knows that this is not directly relevant to the question, and he does it to defy every single time. Well, the, the, the question was very open ended in so far as it talked about uh, the Prime Minister's position in relation to batteries. Uh, and, and battery power. Manager of opposition business. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. And there is no reference to opposition policy, and that's what he's wanting to talk about. No reference to it at all. Manager of opposition business will resume his seat. Uh, the Prime Minister will be relevant to the question, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I was asked about my comments on that day. This country Member safe. Jellybrand is warned. And, and this leader of the opposition, Mr. Speaker was a central in figure the in the Rudd and... And, Mr Speaker, I note this, though. This is a quote from Sally McManus, Mr Speaker. The Prime, Prime Minister will resume his seat. The...
Members on both sides, order. The Leader of the Opposition on a point of order. Yes, Mr Speaker. It goes to direct relevance. This was a very specific question about a member of this Prime Minister's government and statements that were made right. in this the parliament. The Leader of the Opposition will resume his seat. The Prime Minister is entitled to some preamble, but it was a very direct question, and um, I'm going to ask the Prime Minister to, to respond to the question, please. Mr. And so I, I complete the quote that I was going to refer to because it's relevant, no, Mr. Speaker. The, the, it is relevant. No, the, the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister will resume his seat. The leader of the opposition will, re, the manager of opposition business, will resume his seat. Um, the Prime Minister uh, will directly respond to the question. Um, it's not appropriate 12 seconds in or 15 seconds into a question to uh, make a quote of Sally McManus. Um, I ask the question, ask the Prime Minister to respond to the question directly, please. I do condemn those statements. And Mr Speaker, I also condemn statements like this. Oh, Mr Speaker. The They're very touchy on this, aren't you? You don't want me to read it out. The Manager of Opposition Business. Order. Order. Does the Manager of Opposition want business want to take me to Yeah, Mr Speaker, I raise a point of order understanding Order 91C, where a member's conduct shall be considered disorderly if the member has C persistently and willfully refused to conform to a standing order, which is exactly what the Prime Minister is now doing in defiance of your ruling. The Prime Minister uh, has the call. I'd ask the Prime Minister again to respond to the question Mr. Speaker, and be directly relevant Mr. Speaker, to the question. On the point of order, I have responded directly to the member's question in denunciating those statements. I've been very clear about that, Mr. Speaker. I have been very clear about that. Mr. Speaker, I believe in the rule of law the, the when Minister, the law is fair the, and the law the, is right. The Prime Minister will resume his seat. I'll go to the next question. The Prime Minister will resume his seat. The, the next question is the, an independent question. Uh, I'm, member for Longman has the call. And just to state that I'm a member of the coalition, not an independent. <laughs> member for Longman has the call. Let him, sir, Mr. Speaker, let him go. Let him go. The, the member for Kennedy, member for Kennedy has the call. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I would address my question to the Prime Minister. Prime Minister Sally McManus has been a great union leader in this country. You want to, would you quote her in this house, please? The, the Prime Minister has the call. He is not someone, Mr. Speaker. The, man the manager of opposition business. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, there was no doubt the first part of the answer was in order, and there's no doubt that this part is completely irrelevant to the question. I expel him. The has the prime minister completed his answer? No. The 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 just before the prime minister continues. The the prime minister, the microphone's not on. The, I haven't given you the call. The, prime, the microphone's not on. Um, the, the Prime Minister uh, will. Uh, the, the, the question that was asked by the member for Kennedy was extraordinarily broad in relation to. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll give the call to the Prime Minister, but uh, the Prime Minister uh, should uh, return to um, the, uh, the the general the, the general thrust of the question. Speaker. The Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask that further questions be placed on the notice paper. But we'll get it done, man, because we've got a plan, man. <laughs> In accordance with Standing Order 43, the time for members' statements has concluded.
Questions without notice, the Leader of the Opposition. I'm not going to have a kangaroo court taken the, into this parliament. The Mr. Prime Minister Speaker. will resume his I'm seat. The Prime Minister will resume his seat. The member for Shortland is warned. The Prime Minister has the call. And their sources, and would compromise potential prosecutions of corrupt conduct by the overly publicising investigations. Will resume his seat. The Leader of the Opposition on a point yes, of order. Yes, Mr. Speaker, it goes to relevant. But he forgets the real issues facing the Australian people. The Leader of the Opposition. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I'd ask the Prime Minister. Yeah, I know that. Um, I, I'd ask that the Prime Minister table the legislation to which he was referring. The, the bill is a public document. I'm asking so, to t if he would table it. The, the bill is a public document. Next question. The and it addresses a key order, finding of the order, tune review. The minister will resume his seat. The member for Clark. As speaker, on relevance, the question goes to the issue of the erosion in real value of the TPI pension over 70 years, which I understand now is only about 60 per cent of its value in real terms order. compared to its origins the, and intention. The member for Clark has raised his point of order. It's not an opportunity to relitigate the question. The minister will return to the question, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So, having worked for Wayne Swan, Mr. Speaker, the treasurer. He... Oh! The manager of opposition business on a point of order. Yeah, uh, Mr. Speaker, on your first day in the chair, so uh, point of order on direct relevance. On your first day in the chair, you ruled that it was going to be in order for questions about alternative policies. What he's talking about now has nothing to do with policy. The it's an alternative policies is the question. Alternative policies was the question. Um, the Treasurer has the call, and I'd ask the Treasurer to re remain relevant to the question. Well, well, Mr. Speaker. How do measures like these strengthen our economic recovery, and is the Treasurer aware of any alternative approaches? The Treasurer has the call. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'll hear the manager of opposition business. Um, Mr Speaker, previously, as I referred to in the previous point of order, you ruled that alternative policies were going to be allowed. Yes. This now doesn't refer to policy at all. Yes. It refers to simply approaches. approaches. And I'm trying to work out how this could possibly be within the responsibility of the minister, which is all that we're allowed to ask in terms of questions. Um, I'm going to allow the question. It is in order. Uh, my view is that uh, the, uh, the issue of the question of alternative approaches is a reasonable question, um, and I'll give the call to the member to the treasurer. And the leader of the opposition was front and centre when the weakness of that government was the displayed. The prime minister will resume his seat. The leader, of, the manager of opposition business, on a point of order. Direct relevance. I'm struggling to work out how this is even remotely close to the question. Well, the question was asked in a manner as to why should Australians listen to the Prime Minister now. It was the, that was the last question. Um, the Prime Minister is entitled to, to respond that appropriately. And I have supported it as a Prime Minister. And Mr Speaker, I support the it because it provides... The Prime Minister will resume his seat on a point of order. Member for Maribyrnong. I just, just on relevance, I just checked the updated Australian reference, and the updated Australian reference says the minister did call it welfare. The prime minister is saying it's not welfare. Who's right, you or your minister? Well, uh, this is not an opportunity to ask a supplementary question, but uh, the, the point of order is on a point of relevance. The prime minister is being relevant. The, the prime minister has the call. The finance minister, Mr. Speaker. The Leader of the Opposition on a point of order yes, is speak, 15 I, seconds into the question. Yeah, uh, but the, the, the Prime Minister went to, uh, in his answer, uh, went to essentially no. Um, this has been a bipartisan process under Commissioner Jenkins. Order. And we're no, asking the if it the will be tabled here. The Leader of the so Opposition that, will resume so his that, seat. The Leader of the Opposition, uh, the, the Leader of the Opposition on a point of order on the point of order, is it a point of order of relevance? Um, so the, the Prime Minister is being entirely relevant. Um, 
the, the question is in, was in relation to whether I'm assuming the leader of the opposition was asking about the releasing on the day, uh, and the prime minister indicated that it would be released. Um, and the prime minister is only 40 seconds into his into his question. The prime minister has the call. The prime minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask that further questions be placed on. The